Next up, we're going to talk about how to send a binary file, or any kind of file, back from our web server, built with Node.js, to the client, so back to the browser. Now, this sort of follows on to the video that I did uh, previously with uh, how you can make a fetch to get something from a Node server, so how you can make an HTTP request from your Node program to go off to some other server and bring something back. We're going to use the file that we brought back that time. So this is a image that we got as part of the astronomy picture of the day from NASA. I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to send it back to a browser. So we've got our very basic web server here. We're using the HTTP package and we're also going to use the file system package or the file system module rather. Inside of here, we're going to create our server. So we've got our request and our response object. And all we want to do is when we get a request, we're going to grab this picture and send it back to the browser. Now, if you ever need to just check to see whether or not something exists, there is a method here, uh, file system access. There was previously a method for file system dot exists, but that one's been deprecated. Uh, access tells you whether or not you can access it, whether or not the uh, current user that is running Node has permission to access a certain file. So if you're just looking to figure that out, uh, Access will t tell you that. Uh, you can see we're passing in here a file name. So we'll underscore underscore dir name. This is a built-in variable that's available in any Node program you ever write. This will give you the current directory that you're inside of. And I'm going to look for this file inside of my current directory, checking to see if that exists. We're looking to see if this is the status that comes back. Yes, if OK means we're good to go. We're allowed to access this file. And then this is the callback function that's going to run. And if there is an error that gets passed in, so we're going to write out the message, this path right here. And then if this is true or false, we're going to write either does not exist or exists. So if there is an error object, we will write out does not exist. If there isn't, if this was null, there was no error, then we're going to get exists. So that's just a simple check. You don't have to have that here for what we're doing because the read file itself, if it fails, there is an error object that's going to tell us sort of the same thing, like I couldn't find that file. But this is an additional check that you can do. Inside of here, with read file, the file system read file method, you pass in first parameter is the path and file name that you're looking for. And then we've got a callback function here. We are going to have the error if it exists, and then the content from that file. Now I've done this one as an arrow function, this one's a regular function, this one's a regular function. Any one of these can be uh, any of those that you choose. It's not going to make any impact whether you use arrow functions everywhere or regular functions everywhere. I just wanted to show that you could mix and match. It's better to be consistent in your code, but you can use either for these. Now inside my read file in my callback function that's going to run, once we've accessed this, if there is an error, then I'm going to be sending back in my response object res, which is defined up here by the create server. In my response, I'm going to be sending back a 404 error message with the content type set to HTML. And I'm just going to write out this message, no such image. And if it does work, then we're going to set the content type as image slash JPEG. We'll send a 200 status code and then content. This is what we're writing back. So this is what we get as a result of reading that file. So we're accessing this file, and then that whole thing is being passed to the resource, uh, the response.end method. And at the bottom, we're just listening on port 1234. So we'll save that. We'll come over to our browser to check this out. Um, oh, sorry, it's not running yet. We have to start our script actually running. So we'll say node server send. There we go. Server is running on port 1234. We'll jump back to the browser and I will reload this. And there it is. There is the file that we were looking for. There's the Horsehead Nebula. Okay, that's working. Now, just to test out this error functionality, make sure it is failing, let's strip the A out of there. So now we've got the wrong file name. We'll save that. We'll close this. So Control-C, 
There we go, and we'll start it up again. So now the latest version is running. Back in the browser, if we hit refresh, there we go. We get the HTML coming back with no such image. And that's it. That's all there is to sending back a file. So if you've got a web server and you need to send back a file instead of a piece of HTML or JSON, this is how you can do it. All right. Hope that helps you out. Uh, a copy of this code is linked to down in the description, the code gist that has this code. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. And as always, thanks for watching.